Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the 17th Excel 2013 tutorial and what I want to share with you today is how to remove duplicate records from, from your spreadsheet. I wanted to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com where all of the tutorials will eventually be posted and here's some other links that may be of interest to you. So what I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet with numerous entries on here and so this would be like an example guest list of the visitors to a store. So you've got name, address, um, and date of last visit. And so what I've done here, and what we have here, is we actually have some duplicate records. So what we can do, we can just highlight the whole sheet, or you can highlight the the whole, you know, the section like this, or you can click up here and just select the whole sheet like that. Um, you're going to go to the data tab on your ribbon up here. Then you're going to go to the Remove Duplicates tool. You're going to say OK. And then you're going to select or unselect what you want to actually filter on. So in this case, I'm going to do Unselect All. I'm going to go ahead and say, well, if the first name and last name match, go ahead and remove any duplicate records. But you could add in address or filter on any way you want to here. And then in this box, you notice, check by default, my data has headers, and I do have headers there. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and you see what happens here. It came up and said three duplicate values found and removed, 21 unique values remain. So I'm going to say OK, the duplicate records are gone, remove the whole row, so now you have a nice clean sheet. The thing that I want to point out here is that you have to be careful using the duplicate records in a case like this. If you notice, you have over here on, our, on this column F, you have the date of the last visit. So if you have a duplicate customer, you probably want their most recent visit because they might have a newer address that you would want to for mailing records or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the undo button here. And then what I can do, I can go back and use conditional formatting if I want to take a little deeper dive look at it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the first name and last name column and what I want to do is I want to go to conditional formatting and I want to highlight the duplicate cells and I do that I say okay I'll just leave the default color then what I can do is now I have them but they're not sorted so it's hard to review so Joanna here as an example is on row 3 and row 13 and they have different visit dates so what I probably want to do next is I probably want to go to the sort option here I'm going to I like the whole sheet. I'm going to go to the sort option. I'm going to do a custom sort. And then the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do last name. Instead of going by name here, I'm going to go by cell color and I'm going to choose the highlighted color. And there I'll put it there. Then I'm going to add a level and I'm going to do the same thing first name. Again, cell color. I'm going to choose this one. And then I'm going to do one more level and I'm going to do it by last name and I'm going to sort A to Z and now I say OK and now you see what happened it grouped them all together so now I can easily go through my sheet and I can go in here and review and say OK I can manually clean it up and say alright I'm going to compare these two I want to get rid of the 2006 date I'll highlight the row and hit delete so just wanted to share with you how to remove duplicate records and then I also wanted to show you that you need to be careful when doing that because you may, if you have a scenario like this where you have two records and one of them is more recent than the other, duplicate records doesn't take that into consideration. So anyways, thanks for joining and take care.